Well, you know, um, I tell the folks all the time, uh, no one has it better than us. Uh, it is really, really hard to have a bad day at the United States Sailing Test Pilot School. Uh, where else in the, in the Navy or even in the world do you get to work with so many brilliant minds? I mean, this is the, to me, is the gold standard of, of naval aviation uh, or aviation in general. We have some brilliant instructors. Uh, the students we get in are, are just the, the cream of the crop, board selected, uh, the best of, of their service or their, or their country. The staff here is second to none, um, national assets, a group of professionals that are incredibly committed to what they're doing. From an academic perspective, what we do with only 12 academic instructors and what we do with only um, 28 flight instructors, the majority of which are military, is pretty phenomenal. You're talking about 6,500 flight hours a year. Uh, you're talking about 4,200 stories off the ramp. That's part of the great thing about Test Pilot School. I don't know of any other place that I've at least been where there has been such a melting pot of both students and instructor. We have almost every military service represented here, uh, as well as about five uh, foreign national students in each class. On the instructor side, you have uh, both active duty military, um, you have government civilian, you have contractor uh, civilian. Um, with that wealth of experience, and diverse backgrounds is really one of the strengths, I think, of what makes the experience at TPS unique and, uh, and very fulfilling. Fifteen years ago, then Rear Admiral Johnston uh, had a vision that the Army would, would participate in the command billets here at the Test Pilot School. They saw a need and they saw the, the need to branch out across service boundaries um, to bridge that gap. And frankly, it wasn't until Admiral Archisel uh, made the decision back in 2011 to continue it um, to, for me to be the second. and then. Subsequently, Admiral Dunaway committing uh, formally on paper uh, with the Army, three-star to three-star agreement to have the Army here for now indefinitely. There is a memorandum of understanding that has been signed by all the services, uh, basically delineating the, the command uh, rotation for the next several years. And the various backgrounds and experiences that different services can bring to the leadership positions uh, will really benefit us in, in the long term as a, as a school. The bottom line is nobody is, no one individual is bigger than Test Pilot School. Uh, it really doesn't matter if I'm an Army officer, a Marine, a Navy officer. It doesn't matter if we wear white t-shirts, you know, to work every day. The, the bottom line is that the school is bigger than all of us. Uh, we understand that. We, uh, we appreciate the tradition and the legacy and the, and the, uh, and the heritage. The biggest objective for us is we need to evolve uh, the curriculum aspects. And, and that is not to say the curriculum has not evolved over the last 69 years. But now it's much more systems testing. It's much more systems of systems testing. It's much more unmanned aerial systems testing. We need to look ahead to the future. We need to understand the technologies that are emerging. And we need to develop and uh, be on the forefront of how we test those systems to make sure we provide the best product to the fleet. Most importantly, and we try to keep this at the forefront, it's an investment in people. Um, we're making an investment in what we think are the most aeronautically excellent individuals every six months. The, the communities need them, the Army needs them, the Navy needs them, the Marine Corps needs them, the engineers and the competencies need them within NAVAIR and within the Army as well. The favorite part about EPNXO is every day I walk through the door and I'm just amazed that I'm here in this capacity. It's, it's fantastic to be around so many brilliant minds and all, again all these diverse backgrounds of students and I'm humbled by these, these folks every day that I, that I work here. I never dreamed of having this position. It's an absolute honor and a privilege. There is great enjoyment, don't get me wrong, and there's great passion, and there's, I learn something new every day, but the, but the honor to occupy this billet, I know time will continue to march forward. I don't want it to end, is the best way to put it.